All right, folks, welcome back to Animal Well. Surely today is the day. <laughs> today is gonna be the day, right? After all the questions I asked last time, surely that'll be enough information to figure out what to do. Um, <clears throat> I've sort of looked through or like skimmed through the first seven answers. Like, so I asked quite a lot of questions in the comments of my previous video. I've skimmed through the answers to the first seven of them. Um, Cause those were the ones that, like what I've decided to do is ask lots of questions. And then while I'm playing, I can decide to just kind of go deeper and go to the more specific answers that might give me even more of a hint. None of the questions I asked are just going to explicitly tell me the answer here. So I'm still hoping there's, you know, um, some amount of discovery that I'm going to have. Um, the more answers that I use, the less discovery I'll have. Um, and it's still possible that at the end of this video I would have found it, but surely not. Um, so, so the most important answer from the, <clears throat> the first seven questions was which room to focus on. And apparently it's the dark room here. Um, <clears throat> what else do I know? Uh, most people did not find this themselves intentionally or even accidentally. Oh, I, was that the summary? Maybe I should look at the comments now. Um, uh, what nose, 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 a no and a yes, so an accidental find, a yes, but given a hint. Um, yeah, so <laughs> seems pretty common that this isn't found very intentionally. Um, um <clears throat> okay so what do i know i know it's in this room well i've got to do something in this room oh also in the first set of questions was whether i'm supposed to use another item and whether i use that item separately from um this thing uh and apparently the answer to that is that there is another item but i do use it separately so i've got to figure out what to do with this first I've got to figure out. I've been using this in here so much, though. So much. Okay. <clears throat> did I ask? Ooh, I did ask the question. I might look at that answer later. Um, I think it was probably in the first seven questions, but I haven't, like, checked which one it was. Um, <clears throat> I think I asked about whether... Um, it's about the like the smoke effect itself or the effect that I can have on things. I think I might say um, I don't even though I've looked at the answers, I don't think I really recognized which answers were for that question. And so uh, I might actually save that for if I'm getting more stuck. So I still don't know whether it's the smoke itself <clears throat> or interacting with stuff. Um, okay, theories. And I've been told once again that it is logical. There's something logical here. There's dangly stuff. Does the dangly stuff form a shape? You move that stuff, I can move that stuff. Can we move the stuff together? And that will do something interesting. I heard the, the chain um, sound again. That I was hearing a lot last time. <clears throat> also, I just want to say... I respect that, like, <laughs> the kinds of videos I've been putting out recently are not for everyone and people might just want to stop watching. Um, that's just because, like, my personal preference for how I make videos for YouTube is um, that I prioritize capturing my experience with the game over things like, you know, viewer satisfaction or whatever. Um, and that's just my personal choice. It doesn't mean I don't appreciate like trying to make the videos satisfying for people who are watching, but my preference is always like trying to capture the full experience. And so, I mean, I think it's totally fine. This one is like, I'm not watching a two hour video where you achieve nothing. That's totally reasonable. Um, and I don't have any issue with that. Um, light on, light on. Okay. I really wish I could get a good look at what's going on there. I mean, I can see some of it. I can see that there's like a tree stump 
not a tree stump, but like a tree trunk there. I can see that there's like, just like the vague tree greenish background in this area. I can see that there's the hanging down bits here. Like I can see pretty well. Not a hundred percent. I can't see pretty well. That is stretching it. <laughs> I can see vague shapes. <clears throat> I wish I could get a better view. I think I've still got my brightness on full. Have I still got my brightness on full? To be fair, I'm not playing in a dark room right now. Oh, actually, I don't have my brightness on full. Hold on. All right. Uh, what, what am I pressing? What's no, it? No, I hate the buttons on a monitor when it's like, <laughs> it's like a few buttons you gotta figure out randomly which one does what thing. Okay. Will this help me see the background? Yes. But it still just looks like vague stuff. <laughs> still looks like vague background, like any other background. Does any of it react to this? No. Heard the Ooh. Oh. Oh no. 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 Hold on, let me turn the brightness back down. Because the difference wasn't that much. Oh, I can see them. I can see them even at the other brightness. Oh my gosh, there's just so much noise. There's just so much noise. Wait, and the only way to make... Oh, I suppose you could, like, just... No, you don't move those out of the way enough to, like... To, to like, actually see them. So, you know, you would need this mechanic. Wait, so the smoke isn't relevant. Is that what people said in their answers? Because it's just the... Well, unless this is not the whole thing. There might be more to this. This is just about being able to nudge things. Right, I can nudge things. It's got nothing to do with the smoke. I can I can nudge things without making smoke, like that. <laughs> right, that's just like me clicking in that area. Um. <sighs> it was literally just a code that's written there the whole time. Ah, what is it? Right, upright, right, down, right, down, left, down, left. Right. <laughs> That's the whole thing. <laughs> oh, where am I? I am in... Huh. Okay, I'm above that room, but it's not outside. I was expecting this place to be outside and I'd be able to see that snail over there. <laughs> okay, it's done. <laughs> It's funny how just having the focus of this room, I mean, it's not just having the focus of this room, but having the focus of this room, plus knowing about this mechanic that exists. Oh my gosh, that is like so invisible, but it's also like, once I know, once I know, I can see it. But it's just also just like height, like, oh. <laughs> It's just, okay, complaints about this puzzle. Let's do it. And I know people are going to be like, but like, it's just like a, it's like a really good secret. It's well hidden, therefore it's good. But I disagree. I fundamentally disagree about how secrets should be designed and how puzzles should be designed. Um, I think I think it's totally possible to make really well hidden secrets that are also 
discoverable and there's like a satisfying and um uh i don't know there's a, there's, a, there's a satisfying and just like joyful way to get to the solution instead of this which is to me the equivalent of like pixel hunting but it's it's like pixel hunting in like many ways right because <clears throat> like th this finding this bunny required like three kinds of pixel hunting one is like finding the place where the bunny's gonna be that's one form of pixel hunting. you're pixel hunting on the map <laughs> then <laughs> Because I mean, but even that's not like a thing. Like that doesn't get. There is no answer there. Like this room, like you can't come into this room and then no, this is the room. <laughs> so then another thing is like no, like I mean, well, I guess knowing the mechanic. The mechanic is like pixel hunting, and I don't mean like literally pixel hunting. I'm using pixel hunting as a metaphor for the same kind of problem as pixel hunting, which is that you're like searching, searching some huge space to find something that is not communicated to you at all. Um, and that's what this th th thing is. It's like, why would I, I I'm not gonna touch my mouse if I'm playing with a gamepad. <laughs> um, oh, so apparently, yes, the PlayStation controllers, you can just touch the touch screen, it'll do the same thing. But I don't have that on my gamepad. <laughs> So that is just totally silly. Like it wouldn't be it wouldn't be silly at all if like that were a mechanic that were used anywhere else in the game. And like at that point it was like there was some indication that you were supposed to do it. Like that would not be silly. <laughs> but it's completely silly to have a secret that's this hidden and you have to know a mechanic that you've literally never used anywhere and there's nothing telling you to do it. There's nothing implying that it even exists. Um <clears throat> and then there's the like well not only do you need to know it's in this room and that that exists but then also they've made extremely low contrast arrows up there oh, you might be thinking well you know but there have been arrows on the walls in other parts of the game but and sure f first of all they weren't as hidden as these arrows they didn't have stuff in front of them and they weren't as low contrast this room is even darker than those ones um so you're more likely to stumble into one of those, right? The other arrows. They would just and and okay, even more important is that those arrows were often in rooms with like nothing else in them, or like a, a like a health thing, uh, a fruit, and therefore you'd be like, hmm, there's got to be more reason for this room to exist than you notice the arrows. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it went down for me. Okay, then even if some of them are harder to find than the others, once you found one and you know that it applies to the cats, you know there are going to be is it five in total however however many it was and therefore you know to look for them and you know that oh i know they're going to be in the the cat area because they're all the ones i've seen so far are in the cat area like that's a bunch of really great cluing to the fact that even though it's similar there are arrows on the wall um that's a whole bunch of information that like helps you find the remaining arrows on the wall this is just completely disconnected to those we're not even in the same area <laughs> We're not even in the same area, and even if we were in the same area, there would be no reason I'd be expecting to look for these arrows on the walls for a buddy. Um, okay. Um, um, also, yeah, just having something that's like super low contrast. It's just, it's just not. A fun way to hide something. Is it logical? I'm not sure there's something logical here. There's at least a... I mean, no. <laughs> the, the most logic that is here... Uh, I mean, it's not even. <laughs> <laughs> there's, uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm firmly on the side that there is not a logical process to this. Like, I was about to say, maybe you could say that because the chinchilla is, like, moving the vines, you could be like, oh, maybe there's, but there's stuff in other rooms moving vines that's got nothing to do with, like, there being something hidden behind the vines. No, there's, like, literally nothing. Like, a logical deduction is one where you say, this thing must be true because this other thing, because I've seen this other thing that is true. 
and I, I, I mean, unless I just don't know the clues, but then I expected people in the comments would point me towards the clues rather than towards this. Like, I, I just don't think there's any, there's, there's no like, like starting fact with which to deduce that there are going to be arrows on the wall. Ah, okay. Okay, it's done though. It is done. What does that mean? Is that the last one? I didn't get an achievement, I don't think. I'm expecting that is the last one, partly because one, I saw a message, a comment that, oh, that's safe. Uh, <laughs> I saw a comment that I think said there were 16. I, I think my brain is slightly, um, like, um, like tried to forget. <laughs> it's like pushed it out. Um, but I think it said 16. So let's find out. Are we... Nope, that's not how we do it. <clears throat> oh, I made a copy, didn't I, at some point? Which one? I... I'm on that one. Yes, okay. Uh, no, wait, I'm on that one. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting confused about which one's which. Wait, I played that one for longer, though. <laughs> Wait, no. No, no, that's the time. That's the time that I saved. No, no, yeah, I'm on this one. Okay, let's just copy that one. Copy from, to there, erase, that. Yes. Okay, we've got 16. That is the number I think is the total. I don't think I have an achievement. Maybe I should check. One second. Okay, yeah, no, um, no achievements for that at all. So, uh, I wonder if there's any indication at thingy-mabob. Holy moly. Yeah, that wasn't worth the many hours of searching. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, and here we go. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm at least glad that it wasn't a... No, I mean, there's, there's different, there's... Okay, so the other thing I'll mention again, because I've mentioned it before, and I might as well put all my rants together, <clears throat> is that I don't think they should have mixed um, things like that, like pretty obscure things, like those rabbits with other rabbits that are much less obscure. Um, I get it from the perspective of it, oh, but once you found a few, maybe, you know, you're going to want to find the others. Uh, when my, obviously that has worked on me, um, but you're just dragging people who enjoy those first kinds of secrets into um, other kinds of secrets that they're not going to enjoy, or they they might not enjoy. Um, you know, and a part of me just feels like the end to this kind of game, like like finding those. Finding those kind of more obscure rabbits, plus whatever else is in this game. Um, it's 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 basically just designed for people to like, not really to actually discover anything for themselves, just to look stuff up. <laughs> just I, I bet like beyond this point, the vast majority of people, like like way more than fifty percent of players, have just been looking things up or watching other people play to find out where the things are or whatever. And like, I mean, what's the point of that? Is it just so people can be like, oh, I know all the secrets in Animal Well. <laughs> and they're so secret, holy moly. Nobody will ever find them. But like, I don't get the point of that. <laughs> oh, did not mean to get back. Um, yeah, and like, and sure, if, you, if for some reason that is what you want to be part of your game, then just separate it from the stuff that isn't like that. Um, like, e for example, I mean, I have a different complaint about the barcode one, but the barcode one, um, the barcode one has uh, a couple of problems. Uh, one is that, again, there's a pixel hunting aspect. You would never know there was something in that room unless you happen to be walking through there with the remote and you're pressing it just as I did, right? Um, but my bigger problem with the barcode one is it relies on like outside technology that, that like why is there a whatever what was it called a one two eight barcode 
was it code one to eight or something like that why is that in animal well <laughs> like like there was a there was a similar puzzle in another game in fact there are there were similar puzzles in two other games that i've played one of them i played on my channel one of them i haven't played on my channel but i've played before um that i feel exactly the same way about it's like well it just kind of I don't know. It's like, it like breaks the boundary of the game in an awkward way, and and also like, I mean, <laughs> probably in the case of like the one to eight code thing, um, I don't know. It's, I guess to me, it just feels like it's like when I was what I was saying when I was like trying to decode that barcode before knowing it was a barcode. Um, it just feels like an arbitrary encoding rather than like, why not like, okay, have, have a barcode in the game, but like also communicate the, the encoding in the game. That would be a cool puzzle that I'd have to like understand something in the game that tells me the encoding, uh, and then interpret the thing, like rather than relying on some, probably some stand, some ISO standard or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who to find that code, but like, oh yeah, just, I don't know. It doesn't feel as good to me at all. Uh, anyway, enough rambling. Do we have any confirmation that we've got all the buddies? Were you the most recent one? No, probably not. What did the most recent one look like? I actually don't remember. I should have looked. Um, and yeah, apparently there are statues. Um, that just don't have buddies in front of them for some reason. That also seems like an awful decision sorry <laughs> uh, assuming that's true it may or may not be true I think it's probably true um, okay so how am I supposed to actually know whether I've got them all because the thing I want to do next <clears throat> and it's probably the end of my journey unless like it uncover something amazing that I want to do afterwards <clears throat> is the Billy designs terrible puzzles <laughs> that's what BDTP stands for <laughs> sorry I'm 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 I don't mean that really <laughs> I'm just salty from the previous rabbits. Uh, um, because this like I've already identified that the ears on here correspond to the ears in the place I was just in, but I'm imagining I need to have all the rabbits to be able to do this. That makes sense. Is there a good? Oh, actually, is there a good way? No, I was thinking. Oh yeah, maybe there is. Nibble index. Okay, that aligns up with there being 16. We've got four bits for an index and four bits, the maximum number you can store it. Well, 15, there's, there's 16 values. Um, okay, that is, given that I vaguely remember somebody saying 16 and that seems to match up with that, I'm gonna assume 16 is the most, okay. Um, However, if somebody hadn't told me the max is 16, I think I still would be looking for rabbits right now. So I'm not sure if there's anything else in the game that helps you realize you've got them all, but if not, there should be, i.e. those extra statues shouldn't exist. Um, okay, let's hope that's correct. So what are we saying? We're saying, <clears throat> we are saying, why is there a flag? So I can see that, I see that stuff. Wait, so what do I see from here? I see the bunny's ears and the numbers and direction zero, one, two, three. Okay, let's write some of this down. Oh my gosh, my whiteboard's full of um, Lorelei clues. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm gonna write them in binary. So write, is going to be zero zero is it down left yet yeah. down is zero one left is i mean this is also assuming we're like doing two's complement <laughs> binary <laughs> which i don't love but okay 
Um, does that somehow match to... Okay, so there's arrows over here on the right. I probably did this before. So up and right. Up. So they're going to be next to each other, are they? No, okay, what this is saying is uh, that bunny's right here, or I guess I'll just say left, because let's go left to right, like, as I can see it. So that bunny's left ear um, is up, and the other ear is right. So the left ear is up, it's a three. Yeah, so as, uh, as like, four bits, do we end up with 12? Uh, so three... One, one, and then right zero, zero. That is 12. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Eight plus four. Cool. Does that apply to the other one? Eight. Uh, so uh, is it going to be one, zero? So two. Yep. I'm, I'm doing it backwards for the second one just to double check. So yeah, two and zero, zero. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so, so we interpret the ears as the uh where's my other lights there as the four bits at the end of this stroke what's the flag mean have we seen a flag anywhere and then the nibble is the index and based on my recognition that that could have 16 values so does that mean the number of the bunny <laughs> like in its position along the platform? What would I do with that? Direction zero, direction one. Like, why do I care about the index if I can just read them left to right? Why do I care about the index if I can just read them left to right? Oh, probably B stands for bunny, bunny, data. <laughs> Aren't they called rabbits in this? They're not called bunnies. Bunny, data. Oh, something, something, something protocol. Okay. Something transfer protocol? Probably not. But it could be. Hypertext transfer, uh, uh, yeah, hypertext transfer protocol, bunny data transfer protocol, bunny something. <laughs> uh, I could believe it's something like that. Okay, what would I do with this? Is a f why is there a flag? I mean, maybe it represents a flag in the sense of like a bit flag. Like, like often, if you're using like a single bit to represent whether something's on or off, that's called a flag. Um, nibble, index, crumb. Okay, why is the index relevant? Should we go back to them and just write out all the is, and then maybe I'll have some idea about the, um, about the index? Maybe. Okay. Because I don't have any other, like, numbering, right? Other than them being left to right. I guess, like, their position on the, the world map that I found them at. Oh, the uh, statue index. Possibly? But then what, like, what am I going to do with that information? I'll, I'll then have some bits. I'll then have some bits for index and so what. Like the directions. Yeah, and so what? What am I going to do with all this information? I'm going to have a bunch of bits. Will it be an ASCII encoding for something? I doubt it very much because no, then the index wouldn't make sense. Should we just... Okay, let's just write it down. I might use my notepad. Um... My desk is a mess. <clears throat> That's not that much of a mess. Um, uh, 
Okay, so let's assume it's statue index. So bunny, I'm gonna should I do it in should I do it in hex? <laughs> uh, no, let's write it out in binary. <clears throat> so the first bunny is gonna be zero 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 zero. Um what are your ears doing, bunny? Oh wait, they do they do multiple things. I think I remember seeing this before. Okay, hold on. What does that mean? Oh no, what does that mean? We have four bits for the index, two bits for each direction, two bits can only store one ear. Why does it change? May oh, maybe the first set of ears. Okay, I'm mixing up. Okay, okay, I, I get it, I get it. Okay, so the first set of ears are an index to something. And then the second set of ears are two directions. They're not directions of the ears, they're two directions of something else. I can't remember whether I've already done this working out last time I was thinking about this. But okay, I'm having slight deja vu, but um, okay, okay. So first set of ears are right, right. So yeah, so, so still zero, zero. And then the next set are three... So one, one, uh, one, zero. Okay, so that's an index. I mean, it says your index is going to be, what's your index? Uh, oof. <clears throat> Hold on, let me write the directions down then. So, well, I'll write down the index and the direction. So the first index is zero and the directions are, well, I don't need to write down the binary, do I? Because the directions are just, are they directions of something else? I think so, because now we're applying ear direction to to the index field of the struct. Uh, but it's not. It's like I don't really need to translate the the second set of ears because they're just going to be. Um, there's going to be directions in some form. I'm going to write it down anyway, just because I don't know if that's actually the case. So it's going to be. So the, the zero index one was up, uh, up left. Yes, up left. Okay, so you are, uh, is it left down? Left down, <laughs> uh, which in the index will be one, zero, zero, one, nine. And then, in the directions, up, up, I think. Up, up. Okay, so one, 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 one. Up, up. Okay. Next room. Let's hope the indexes don't clash with each other. The indices. Uh, so it was down, down, I think. Down, down, which is zero, one, zero, one, which is five. <clears throat> and then uh, left, up, which is going to be one zero one one, which is just left up. Next one, the golden bunny. Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, one of them is invisible. Where are you, invisible one? Should we maybe keep this on <laughs> just in case? Um, so your f ears are first. Is that down right? Oh, well, I mean, right down, right down. So zero, 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 one, so one, yes. Uh, and then your second set of ears, your second set of ears are, up left, up left. So one, 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 zero, up left. So far the indices don't clash. Oh, was that, what was that? Oh, get out of the way. 
Oh, this is the invisible one. Up left. Up left will be one, one. <coughs> left is one, zero. So that is 14. Yep. And then your second set of ears. You're not the right bunny. You've got, that's the wrong bunny, that one. Right, right, so zero, zero. Right, right, okay. Next one, so this is gonna be you now. Up, down, up, right, up, down, up, right. Up, down, up, right, okay. Up, down is one, one, zero, one, which is going to be 13. Uh, up, down, up, right, and then it's gonna be one, one, zero, zero, which is up, right. I'm writing it down anyway. Yeah. Okay, next one along. You, presumably. Was that down, up? Down, up. That is zero, one, one, one. That is seven. Um, and then your second set is right, right. Down, up, right. I can barely see you. Do that over here. Right, right. Yes. So zero, 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 zero. Right, right. <clears throat> next one. Right, left, that was a very funny ear pose. Right to the left, which is zero, zero, one, zero, uh, which is just two. And then up, right, which is one, one, zero, zero, up, right. Cool, same as 13. Next one. Yeah, none of these are clashing. I think I'm doing roughly the right kind of thing here. It makes some sense. Right up, zero, zero, one, one, that is three. Up, 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 one, 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 up, up. Next one along, you, down left, down left is zero, one, one, zero, which is six. And then up, up, yes. One, 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 same as the previous one. Up, up. Next one along. Left up. That is one, zero, one, one. That is uh, eight plus two plus one, 11. Or 15 minus, no, that was wrong. Uh, eight plus two, Eight plus two plus one, no, that is 11. Or 15 minus four, yeah, okay. I don't know why I got confused then. Uh, left, that was you, left up, yeah, left up. Down left, down left. Uh, down is zero, one, one, zero, down left, okay. Next one along. Upright, one, one, zero, zero. That is 12, 12. Uh, up left, up right. Oh no, up right, up left. So one, one, uh, one, zero, up left. Next one along. Okay, left, left, up left. Left, left is one, zero, one, zero, which is 10. Uh, what was it? Left, left, up, left. Up, left, one, 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 zero, which is the same as the previous one, up, left. <clears throat> up, 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 left, up, 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 left, one, 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 that's 15. Up, 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 left. One, 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 zero, so up left again. Okay, lots of up lefts. What are these the directions for? <clears throat> Do that again. Can you please not stand in front of each other? Is it left, right? Left, left, right. Left, right is one, zero, zero, zero. So just eight. Um, 
down right. Left, right, down right. Down right is zero, one, zero, zero. Down right. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's one more over here. There's one more over here. Okay. Down right. Yeah, this is okay. Sixteen is almost certainly the, the the total number. Down right. Zero one. Wait, down right. Zero one zero zero. So four. We don't have four. No. Uh, down right. Left down. Left down is one zero zero one. Left down. Okay, so I assume I want to arrange these by index order. So, well, maybe I just play the song. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't think of that. Okay, up, left is zero. So that one's done. One is up, left. Two is up, right. Oh, it sounds like a song. <laughs> Three, up, up. Four is left, down. Five is left, up. Mm, there's definitely patterns here, isn't there? Six is up, up. Seven is right, right. Eight is down, right. Nine is up, up. Ten is up, left. Eleven is down, left. 12 is up left. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake on any of these. 13 is up right. I mean, it's unlikely I made a mistake on the indices because otherwise I would have had to make two mistakes that happen to swap with each other because these are like perfectly aligned. Wait, what did I just do? 13? Yeah. 14, right, right. 15, up left. So is this just a song? Please just be a song. Please just be a song. Okay. Who's responding to me right now? Oh, it's the sound of the thing. <laughs> it's the thing I was hearing was the sound of me moving the, the cursor around while I'm in the flute. Uh, I was thinking like, oh, something's like responding to me making the, the sounds. Okay, start from the beginning. Is that just one? Oh, I don't know whether it messed up then. Okay, we're doing it again. Okay. I do have a thought about this, but I'll save it for afterwards. Okay, I think I did that correctly. Um, I could double check the ears. My thought is that there are no diagonals, but then there couldn't be any diagonals with the way it's encoded. But I mean, the, the encoding could have been different to allow for diagonals. Um, so I don't know if the lack of diagonals maybe implies that this is another song. In which case, uh, let's just double check the ears first. <clears throat> It's very unlikely I got the indices wrong, so let's just check the ear, the, um, like the second sets of ears. Up left, yes. Up up, yes. Left up, yes. Up left, yep. Oh, let's make sure we've got this song. Is it this room? It is this room, right? Yeah, you're the invisible one. What, what are you doing? Ah, oh, can't get out of the way. I think it's right, right. Right, right. Yep. 
Upright, yep. Right, right again. Right, right, upright, right, right, upright. Yeah, okay. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Yep. Down, left. Up, left. Down, left. Up, left. Yep. Up, left. Yep. Up, left again. Oh, gosh. Who, who's next? You. Up, left again. Down, right. Down, right. Down, right. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Sorry. Left, down. Left, down. Yeah. Okay. That's what I've got. Uh, okay. So that's what I did. Is it possible my encoding's wrong? Or is it possible the directions mean something else? Maybe I should save this for next time. Maybe I should save this for next time. Okay, we'll save it for next time. I've done too many super long videos recently. This is, and this is already quite a long one. <laughs> All right, uh, we finally got the the final rabbit. Uh, as people predicted, I was not a fan, <laughs> but uh, it's over. Yeah, I kind of like if the if the discovery had been a bit more like a bit less. Well, yeah, a bit less like just going. Oh, this is something obscured. <laughs> Um, oh, now I get like what people meant by uh, needing another item. It would have been the flute. Okay, uh, let's actually see what people say about what did people give us there? Because I asked for one word hints. Unreachable was one of the hints. Um, unreachable, enshrouded. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Brightness. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what that word means. Ossuary. Let's, let's Google that word. Ossuary. A container or room in which the bones of dead people are placed. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, there's the room with the, the, um, I think you bob in it. Uh, reveal was another word. Yeah, makes sense. Backgrounds, okay. Yeah. Hint unnecessary. You'll figure it out in like five seconds. If you know the room it's in, the mechanic you need to use. Okay. <laughs> oh, they weren't wrong. <laughs> I like that that word was hint unnecessary without a space between them. Nice. Um, okay. Were there any other responses that weren't in my thread? Possibly. Yes. Let's have a look. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that one out loud, but yes, correct. Uh, I think that's it. Yes, that's all of the, that's all of them. Um, <laughs> okay. Billy, Billy, look what you did to me. I like the way the shadows dance around in the background here. I can't believe it wasn't the shadow bunny idea. That was actually almost a good idea. <laughs> Would have been more interesting. Like obviously it would have required a slightly different setup where you have a bit more control over what's happening and cluing towards it. But that would have been a cool idea for a bunny. Like you have to cast the shadows in the right direction and make a bunny shadow. That would be actually really interesting. Um, uh, as opposed to whatever that was that I just did. Uh, okay, so we've got a bunch of directions in an order and we've got to figure out what they do. Uh, we'll do that next time, folks. Uh, and that... I mean, ooh, is it likely to be the next, the last video next time? I mean, it depends how far I get with that and what that does if I do do it. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. I I mean, I do have some ideas about what it could mean. There's like a few options I've got. Um, but so no spoilers, no spoilers about the next bit. This is like this, like, obviously I'm coming to at this bit, like completely fresh now. I don't need hints at this point, uh, but I'll see you next time and we'll explore some of the things I'm thinking about. All right. Goodbye.